Hey guys, Dave Ray here, DB Restorations. Sporting my headlight and my glasses, of course, so I can see what the heck I'm doing. I get a lot of you guys asking me about uh, B body quarter glass. So, this is a 1968 Dodge Charger. Um, all your 68 to 70 B bodies are basically going to be the same uh, they are right here. So, I get a lot of questions about uh, how do I adjust these, how do I get them out, and everything else. So, right now, I'm taking um, the whole quarter glass assemblies out of the car. I already removed the glass. The glass only has two bolts on it. So you just roll your window up until you see those bolts through these access holes here. And you just take those bolts out and then your glass itself will come out. And then everything else is left inside the, the frame, uh, the regulator, of course, all the slides and glides and everything else. So I'm gonna show you um, how I take these out. And don't feel bad if the bolts break inside the pop metal. A lot of times they do, and you just have to drill them and, and tap them back out. Um, it just happens. Sometimes you put some heat to them to kind of help uh, spray them down with a really good, um, like liquid ranch or a penetrating oil and let them soak for a few days. A lot of times they'll help you get those bolts out as well. I, unfortunately, you can see here's the channel right here. Uh, one was okay, and the other one, of course, broke off. It started to come out really good and then it just snapped so uh, i got the the left side out already and there's all the parts and everything there and so now we're working on this side so all you really need is a 7 8 socket uh, for these big nuts over here and then 7 16 and that's it you know 7 16 socket a deep socket kind of helps so i'm going to start i'm going to kind of pause this i'm filming this by myself so i'm going to start by removing these right here these are your your stops for the glass so when the glass comes up this channel right here in the back, you can see a little nub right there. We'll hit on this back stop uh, to kind of stop the back part of the glass. And then right here on the other frame is another stop. And that one there will hit on there. So you want your glass to kind of balance out like this, you know. So you'll adjust that stop to make it hit on the back first and kick the front down and so forth. So that's what I'm going to remove first. So it's just these two bolts and there's a bracket in there, a stop, and same with that one there. So give me just a sec. Okay, as you can see, our two stops are out. Here they are right here. Um, you want to replace all this rubber. This rubber gets pretty dried out on there, and you can see it just falls right off. Some of them, odds are they're not going to have the rubber in there. You can cut some 5 8 heater hose uh, into little strips and stretch that over there. That's what I do a lot of times. It works great. This one right here, you'll need a little bit bigger hose uh, to get on there as well because it's a little bit fatter. Okay, so those two are out. You can see where one was and where the other one was. Now the next thing I'm going to work on is I'm going to take off this rear guide right here. So I'm going to pull these two bolts off right there and uh, pull that out. So give me a sec. Okay, we got that out. As you notice, I marked top on there. Uh, you can see the spacing here between uh, this end and that end is uh, different. And so you want to make sure you don't put the thing in upside down or else when you roll your window down, it's going to come right up off the track. So you need a little more track on the bottom. You can see this is a, basically a track that a wheel is going to slide inside and outside of that. So I mark them where it goes. Make sure you put all your hardware, all your bolts inside of the parts you take off. The way these are designed, it's kind of hard to see here, is um, on the very end it has a 7 16 bolt. And then you can see this thing's threaded, so you can adjust this in and out. Odds are it's going to be rusted solid and they're not going to really move around, so you're going to have to soak those in penetrating oil to break those loose and grease them up really good with some white lithium grease uh, before you put them back in there because you're going to need those to adjust um, to get through there. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take off this lower bracket. So what I have is two 7 16 bolts up here, two on the bottom, and then if I could see inside of here, let me turn on my headlight so you can see there, there's a nut. Oh, where are you at? It's so hard to see. Right in there. It's like right in here. So we're going to remove that 7 16 nut in there and, uh, and get that off. So give me a sec here. Okay, I got that out. You can kind of see the stud right there on this track, this channel of where that was. So this was in there like that. And you can see this bracket right here is where that that bolt was right there, or that nut, sorry. Those are the bolts, nut. That little joker right there. So what I'm gonna do now is this slide right here goes all the way through the regulator and through the glass channel and everything else that comes up to this big nut. 
I'm going to pull this big nut here off and then I'm actually going to push this up and slide this entire piece out. And you can see, I'll show you the other side. Here's what the other side looks like and you can see it's, there's where the nut was, but you can see these right here are inside of there, but these two wheels slide on each side of that channel. So I'm going to pull this entire track. If I get back here all the way out like that, okay? So that's what I'm going to do is pull this upper nut off, push it in so it clears, and then start sliding it out. 